If you want to learn a foreign language, there is no point in copying the words from a dictionary again and again. The best way to learn the language is to get immersed in it. The best way to learn mathematics is to get immersed in it. And that's exactly what we do in our lessons. As teachers here, we are all passionate about mathematics and we want to share this passion with everyone. So we would like to find a way to give the children an opportunity to see mathematics from a different angle, to try to change their perception of what mathematics is about. With this idea in mind, we started our curriculum math boost classes. The topics we covered are taken from school curriculum, but the way we approach them is completely different. I can see three key differences about our approach. First of all, all tasks we set up mean to highlight the most important aspects of mathematics. All tasks are justified from a mathematical point of view, and behind every task there is some essential mathematical concept. A single mathematical idea could be wrapped up in different contexts so that the children learn to see through in significant details and look deeper into the task. Finally, we aim to introduce children to the most general principles of mathematical thinking and try to apply them consistently throughout the lessons. When it comes to 11 plus exam, the most common form of preparation is doing as many papers as possible again and again. Doing practice papers does help, but mostly with recognizing different type of questions and memorizing different ways of solving problems. Sadly, that doesn't necessarily result in proper understanding, and without understanding, the benefits of preparation don't last long. If you want to learn a foreign language, there is no point in copying the words from a dictionary again and again. The best way to learn the language is to get immersed in it. The best way to learn mathematics is to get immersed in it, and that's exactly what we do in our lessons.